Hello, and welcome to the Game Dev Quickie. In this project series, we are making a memory game. I will show you a quick overview of the changes I have made since the last episode. You can find the complete source code in the description. But before we get started, I'd like to invite you to the community tab, where you can vote on future videos. Let's get to the game. There is a simple menu now. The player can choose one of the three difficulties. They differ in the number of cards and the round timer length. The player can return to the menu at any time by pressing escape. There is a new class for buttons. Once it detects a mouse click, it fires an on-click event. The menu is a new game state. It holds a list of buttons and assigns methods to their events. The next improvement is a card collection animation. It bursts into four pieces and disappears. The card part class represents one quarter of a card. It is essentially a particle that moves, rotates, and shrinks and a manager that can generate and handle them. Those were the latest additions to this project. Let me know in the comments how you like them. Ask if you need anything explained in greater detail. And visit the community tab to vote on future videos. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.